Hello everybody, uh, welcome back to lesson three. Um, so in lesson two, we did the three notes, B, A and G, and that's what we're, what we were, that's how we, um, B, A and G are worked off our left hand, as you all know from, from lesson two. Um, so today um, we're gonna go on to our right hand. So our notes are F, E, and D. So we'll go through them slowly, okay? So um, so we'll start off the last day on lesson two. We started off with the top three holes covered, and that was our note G. So then if, if we go, it's like going down stairs. So every finger, so the next finger to go down is our index finger on our right hand. So so we're start so we're on G and then go down to this one, so it's F. So that's not F. Okay. Uh, next finger then to go down is our middle finger. And that gives us the note E. So So that's the middle finger down. And then last finger then to go down is our ring finger on the right hand. So that's the full six holes covered and that gives us the note D. So, now D is often the hardest note to get right because you've got your six fingers down and you've six holes to cover. And like I said in the previous classes, if the holes aren't covered properly, or even if one hole isn't covered properly, it's going to be it's going to give a squeaky sound. So, for in, like for an example, I'll just I'll half cover my my A my G finger here. So, and I'll play D. So that's an example of of D with one of the holes not covered. So you can see how important how important it is to have all the holes covered to get the to get a good clear tone and get the note in tune. So that's your D. So Okay, so that's our F, E and D then. So from lesson two we had B, A and G and from today we had F, E and D. So now we're missing one note there and it's C. So C is all the fingers off. So now for the C you can um, support the whistle with your two thumbs at the back and you can also put your baby fingers either side of the whistle just to support it so that it doesn't fall. So, so that's your that's your C. So so we've got say so the notes on the whistle then we've got A, B, C, D, E, F and G. So that's the way we go in the alphabet. But on the D tune whistle then we start off with D. So our full scale then is D. So it starts off. Then E. F. G. Then A. Then B. Then C. Okay, and then we're back then to D again, higher octave on D. So, so, um, so that's our full scale. So I'll play it again once more, fee. So just going up again from low D. So, okay. So that's it. And then you can also practice it going down again. So you can go from C. So B. Um, so that's the scale then on the on the low octave, up to from D right up to C. Um, now also in lesson two we did the ambulance, so we were, we did B A B A B A and the ambulance. Now just a good um, an exercise again we can do on the right hand. We can just use the same the same little tune again the ambulance again. We can go F E F E instead of A B A B. So it's just it'll be good um, practice in for. Um, Having your, you'll have your left hand fully, the three holes on the top fully covered with your left hand, and then 
you'd be using your F and E with your right hand. So just an example of that then would be So um, that's the ambulance then that you can that we can do on the right hand. So um, that's the full scale covered. So um, best of luck with with, um, with working on that. And we'll for lesson four then we'll work on the higher octave. So I hope to see you all there then again. So thanks.